Hi, and welcome to Sensei Kujaku. I'm Krish Kothari. Avenue Supermart, which runs a popular supermarket chain, D-Mart, has been a tremendous wealth creator since its IPO in 2017. Let's look at how the company has leveraged data to scale the business and increase profitability. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. We have some really interesting content lined up, including podcast episodes with the best and brightest of Indian industry. As always, nothing said in this video or any content posted on this channel is either a recommendation to or not to buy, sell or hold any security. Please do your own due diligence and consult a financial advisor before dealing in any security. Started in the early 2000s and growing to just 8 stores in its first decade of operations, DMART has mushroomed into a giant chain and a darling of the stock market. But what role has data played in building the business and what lessons in retailing can be learned from studying the company? Some of the answers are more obvious than others. Early on in its life cycle, through data collected in the first few stores over multiple years, DMART understood what drives a successful supermarket chain. Low prices, a wide selection and convenience. Through its everyday low-cost strategy, the company focuses on keeping its operating costs low by managing inventory effectively, negotiating with suppliers to get better deals, and keeping the margins low. Rather than relying on sporadic sales to boost demand, DMART makes a simple but powerful promise to its customers. We will offer the best deal 365 days a year, and we won't make you wait for Diwali or Christmas to offer you a better deal. But how does the company effectively ensure the everyday low-cost strategy? The answer is the power of data. A key advantage of DMART is the quality data it receives on a daily basis. The large footfalls and number of transactions offers the best possible source of useful data. The company cuts about 21 crore bills annually. That's close to 6 lakh bills a day. That's also 6 lakh invaluable data points every day. This information in turn informs the company as to what customers actually want and therefore what really sells. In this business, data is a crucial advantage. DMART doesn't need to guess what customers want. They can stock and restock the appropriate items at the right times in the right quantities. This has a dramatic impact on the working capital needs of the business. Think of the apparel line. Based on data of sizes sold in a particular store, the company can alter supply patterns for that store to maximize sales. There's little use in stocking equal number of units of each size of men's t-shirts in a store where 80% of men's t-shirts sold are large or extra large. Products can have widely differing sell-throughs in different stores based on a variety of factors. Data enables DMARC to customize store offerings based on hyper-local demand. Without the ground-level data, the company would have to take pan-India calls. The data flow enables DMARC to minimize unsold goods and working capital needs and maximize inventory turns which is absolutely essential for profitable growth. Plus, it leads to the most important thing, happy customers. This has helped the company to offer products at a lower price than its competitors, making it a popular choice among cost-conscious consumers and the burgeoning middle-class population. The lower it buys products, the lower it can sell them. Additionally, it offers industry-leading payment terms to vendors, which incentivizes dealing with DMART. While vendors may get slightly better prices elsewhere, they would be worse off on the whole because of the working capital requirements. Another important aspect of store-wide customization is timing of product launches. Products can be launched in different stores at different times. For instance, everyone knows raincoats and umbrellas are purchased in the lead up to the monsoon, the onset of which takes place in a staggered manner across the country. However, past data allows the company to time the release of these products, thereby maximizing sales and profitability. Release too early and inventory piles up and working capital increases. Release too late and you've missed out on sales. Timing for seasonal products is everything. An often talked about aspect of DMART's business model is the decision to purchase rather than license real estate. This is unlike most retail chains. The primary disadvantage is a large cash outflow to acquire the real estate long before commencement of operations. Therefore, there is a material time value loss on this capital. So then why would one of India's savviest businessmen go down this path? The answer lies in the intangible value of control. Given the enormous outlay of capital, the company needs to be sure of the worthiness of the investment. Here again, data is crucial. All large companies use PopStrata data to, to determine locations of new stores. 
The key though is in thinking about areas that are currently small but will grow meaningfully over time and areas that will remain valuable. Over 20 years of operations, DMART has better understood the likelihood of changes in pop strata data in a given region and those predictive models are essential. This data allows the company to not only buy the right real estate but insure against overpaying. This enables DMART to profit from long-term growth in a neighborhood. DMART builds a store and profits as an area develops and prices rise. It profits not only from the value of the real estate going up, but more importantly, as the spending power of people in surrounding areas increases. A new highway may lead to tremendous growth in an area over 20 years. Or an aging neighborhood may have spending power today, but prove to be a poor long-term investment. Data is both the sword that powers profitable long-term expansion and the shield that protects against long-term obsolescence. Being in true control of real estate allows the company to think long-term. As the owner, DMART has eliminated the risk of sudden increases in license costs and more importantly, the risk of sudden termination of the license agreement. As a result, DMART stores do not need to arbitrarily close down because someone else offers the landlord 5% more in rent. This creates longevity in the business. DMART stores have become mainstays in many neighborhoods. While giving directions, people often use the DMART stores as landmarks. This intangible place in the psyche of the customer is invaluable. Of course, the larger benefit remains the elimination of key risks. Undoubtedly, this strategy was possible in the initial stages because of the financial firepower of the promoter of Avenue Supermart. After all, there are only so many people who can afford to buy prime real estate in Mumbai long before a single product is sold. DMART has employed a cluster-based expansion program. Rather than spreading itself thin, the company focuses on specific regions and only expands to another after building sufficient scale. This has a tremendous advantage with respect to logistics costs. A cluster-based approach allows focus and minimizes costs as it enables an optimally utilized hub-and-spoke distribution model. As of FY23, DMAR operates 324 stores across multiple states in India. The company's market cap stands at about 2,34,000 crores. This implies a per store capitalization of about 720 crores. While I do not recommend reading too much into this one data point, it is a reminder of the tremendous value the market ascribes to the strength of the business. DMART focuses a great deal of resources on vendors as well. For instance, the company allows anyone to pitch their products to be sold in DMART stores. I'm serious, you can go online right now and apply to be a vendor to DMART stores. You don't need to be RK Dhamani's neighbor to get a foot in the door. This not only creates incessant flow of new products to keep its offerings to customers fresh, but allows the company to capture new vendors before competitors. Remember, vendor management is essential to smooth and profitable operations. What role does data play in vendor management? The obvious answer is the use of technology to help manage inventory levels and enable just-in-time management of goods. There are advantages beyond that though. DMART's decades of data gives them greater insight into consumer trends and more importantly, shifts in consumer trends. No doubt, this has driven the company's increasing focus on non-food items, which today account for 45% of the company's revenue. This data enables DMART to become a customer's one-stop shop for all core needs, not just food. Another aspect of vendor management leads to what may be the most important aspect of DMART's business in coming years, private labels. A major source of revenue in coming years may be the emergence of private label brands. Costco, the famed customer-friendly retailer out of the US, built Kirkland, its own private label brand. Today, Kirkland sells over $60 billion worth of product annually. Remember, the demand and sell-through data DMART collects every day. They know what has the best chance of selling and the exact price points customers are willing to pay. This enables the company to build its own power brands in key segments. This also reduces dependence on vendors, especially large vendors and consumer brands. Private labeling is therefore a serious concern for FMCG companies that rely on the distribution and pull of chains like DMART. This will, in many ways, be the real battleground in coming years. Data has allowed chains like DMART to offer greater value to customers than many traditional sources of daily use items. Take the simple example of buying fruits and vegetables at a supermarket versus a street vendor. The range is only one of the advantages the chain has over its traditional rival. The manner in which items are stocked is superior as well. For example, 
chains have a much better sense of how customers purchase individual items. Potatoes and tomatoes are often pre-packaged in one kilo packs and lemons are often pre-packaged by the dozens. All of this is made possible because of mountains of data that have been collected over many years. These add-ons may seem insignificant in isolation, but accumulated across every item in the store leads to often insurmountable advantages. The sum total effect of all these strategies is the incredible money machine that has been created. Today, Avenue Supermart generates over 40,000 crores in sales and close to 3,000 crores in pre-tax profit. Time will tell though whether the market today is over or underestimating the potential of this business in coming years. As always, I wish the company good luck. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. Also, let me know in the comments if there's a specific company or topic you'd like me to cover in my next video. Thanks for watching, Sensei Kujaku.